This is blog, blog the art blog. A discussion of taboo, controversial, and singular topics. I am the keeper, David J. Landry. Let us start out by making the simple observation that some artists use substances such as marijuana or mushrooms to enhance their creative ability. Now, that is an interesting claim that we as human beings do not inherently have built into us the ability to fully explore our creativity. It also makes the assumption that artists who do not use these substances are less creative. You cannot make the statement that a substance unlocks creative potential within the human body without also stating that that human body is not capable on its own of reaching that potential. So let us look at the claim made by artists who take these substances in order to improve the creation of their art. The claim is that these substances unlock parts of the brain that could not otherwise be accessed without the use of the substance. This is a somewhat dated argument among artists, and I've actually found medical studies that have disproven this. The studies have proven that these substances do not enhance or unlock, rather they replace the natural bodily function. Once the body understands the function of these substances, it begins to shut down its natural abilities. It says, hey, this substitute is doing the work for us. We can take a break for a bit. It's very similar to the way that an astronaut's muscles begin to go into atrophy when they are out in outer space for a long time. When your body realizes that it no longer needs to do a task, it simply stops doing it. These substances are actually taking control of the body and replacing it. Which is why artists that use these substances feel like their natural abilities are being enhanced because when they stop using it and try to be creative without the substance, their body is in atrophy. That creative part of them has been replaced for so long that they're, they're no longer naturally using that part of their body. So they're in atrophy, so by comparison, it feels like to them, oh my word, I'm so creative on this substance more than I am naturally. But the reality is, these artists are fully capable of achieving the same level of creativity without the substance, because it is simply replacing them and not enhancing their abilities. So can an artist who does not take the substance be as creative as the artists who do take the substances? Absolutely, and vice versa. These artists can also be as creative on the substances as their counterparts who do not take the substances. It is simply a question of how much work you want to put into your own art. Do you want to be the one in control? the one who is actually creating your art? Or do you want your art to be created by a substance that has replaced you? A substance like marijuana that is now controlled by the government. So in a way, does that mean that if you use marijuana to create your art, that the government is actually controlling the creation of your art. That's it for this week. Blog Blog will be back next week with another singular discussion. 
If there are any topics regarding art that you would like discussed on Blog Blog, let me know in the comments. And, as with all social media, comments are not a place for hate or trolling. Doing so will earn you a dismissive pat on the head, followed by, it's so cute that you believe that. Until next week, remember, no matter what color you paint them, the trees are unhappy.